Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing um, a, a product review on the Voluminous Miss Manga. So I thought it was cute. I got it from Target for about $7.99. So it's supposed to give you like this amplified like eyes. And in the back it just says, um, feature in the 360 flexible brush to build bold volume and high intensity from top and bottom. It's 360 brush for the first time L'Oreal Paris create a flexible brush with the unique shape to catch those hard to reach slashes for incredible even application. Mega impact formula instantly builds oversized volume for up to a 15 times lash volume in a flash. The manja look. Top lashes amplified and the bottom lashes maximized for an ultimate wide eye look. Clump free, flake free, smudge free. I never open it, I never watch any reviews or anything so I can give you my 100% full honest opinion of this product. So I'm gonna open it now and this is it, never been opened. It doesn't really have a smell. It's a cream formula. It's fluffy at the base, like right here. Then it kind of points in at the tip. Brush has that um, effect that the Mega Plush has, how it kind of have the bent in it. So yeah, it's kind of like bendable, which I is like a love hate because sometimes I want to bend it too much. I think it's gonna break over time, and yeah. So I guess it makes um, the bend makes it real flexible, but like I said, I think it's gonna break. That's what really paranoid me. Okay, I hope you guys can see it. I'm trying to do it the best way. Just by putting one coat, not even a coat, just by touching it one time, I noticed a big difference. So I do. Another coat. So just two coats per eye. You only want to put like two coats because I noticed when I put more, it's just starting to get real clumpy. So this is with two coats at the top and well, three coats at the top and two coats at the bottom. And I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so now, it's been about five hours and it's about 10 o'clock here. I'm just so tired. I'm ready to take this makeup off my face. Um, I went um, to Target and did a little shopping. I went right outside and played with my kids. And so I did a couple of errands. And now, like, it's been about three, four, five or six hours. And if you could say, yeah, I am. If you could see, yeah, I am a grease ball right now. My liner is running. I'm just ready to take this makeup um, off my face. So, yeah, let's get to this review. So, didn't fake a flake at all. I don't have any, like, like flakes. Um, I like it. Um, it didn't really give me, like, voluminous, like, thick, full lashes. But it did give me length. Another mascara that you like of your choice that give you full volume. And then um, for length, you could probably add this on if you want to double up your mascara. Would I re recommend it to you guys? Yes, I believe it is good. I don't have any problems with it yet. I'm going to wash it off and I'll leave, um, like at the end credit, I'll leave how it was to wash off. And down below, I'll leave um, a little, like, little note of how it was to remove it because it said just soap and water. And um, so yeah, I like it. Um, I like how it gives me like big, bold, like I already have like, I guess big eyes, but I love how it gets my eyes that big, wow effect, like wide effect. So yeah, using this one and um, some concealer early in the morning make you look really wide awake. I love the packaging. It's so cute and girly and shiny. I would definitely be putting this in my makeup bag. I wouldn't use it as an everyday mascara only because sometimes I like to just use my Maybelline Mega Plush. I mean, it, it's like it gives me a little volume and length, but not too much where it's like wow out there. So this is like maybe um, date night or some kind of event. I wouldn't use this like an everyday um, 
mascara if I'm going to work or something. Okay, so my review on it is yes, it's great. It's long lasting. It's clump free, flake free. Um, everything it says on the packaging is right on. Um, I just love it. Um, I don't feel anything like heavy on my eyes. And like I showed before, it's great for like glasses wear because when you wear a mascara that really curls up, it doesn't really hit your glasses at all because it's really curled and flared out, like going up. So it won't bother your glasses or sunglasses because it's summertime. The only kind I have is just this brush tip. I'm not sure if you guys could see it or not. I will try to um, give it close up. If not, I'll insert a picture in here. But I just don't like how the brush just stays like full of product and like the ridges on it. It just like it just doesn't look even at all. It just look really choppy and cut up. It doesn't. It just to be a brand new item I just got it looks like I've been having it for like a long time it's just I don't know if you guys can see it but I, and I don't like how the brush is so flimsy like if you clean all that excess product at the tip of it you have to like clean it and it's like so flimsy product get everywhere around the rim like too much product and when you clean it it's just like if you try to get all that gunk, it just it just goes everywhere. So like the process of putting on the mascara to me, it just I don't know, it's just real messy. Um, but I'm not sure if it was just because I was so nervous and because all the energy drinks I drank today. It's just it feels like it's just too much product. The bristles the bristles are just too soft. I don't know, and it just like clings to too much product. Flimsy it is. It feels like it could break at any time. Look, like, uh, hello, I'm about to break. I don't like how much formula gets everywhere. Um, I mean, I'll keep it and I'll play around. Maybe I might like it later. But I'm not like 100% like in love with it. I don't know, maybe I'm just overacting because I love my benefits. They're real so much and my Maybelline Mega Plush. I'll play around with it. And um, if I like it, it'll be in my favorites video. If not, I'll probably do a video of products I regret buying and this might just end up in it. I don't know yet, but it might end up in a favorite video. I don't know yet. So I'm going to play around this mascara for a couple of more maybe days or weeks. And I'll probably post on my Instagram page about this mascara. So definitely follow me on Instagram to um, hear the latest about this product. I also wash this makeup off, so definitely I'll have in the end credits or in the description bar I'll have how it's process of washing it because on the packaging it said just soap and water but it's not um, waterproof so maybe just soap and water would wash it up. And don't forget I'm doing a giveaway on this item. So check out the rules down below. Um, it's simple, it's gonna be four rules. You have to be subscribed to me on my YouTube channel. You have to comment down below what's your favorite mascara, number two. Number three, follow me on Instagram, definitely. And number four, if you like, you can tweet this video out to all your friends. That'll be about it. It's not international, um, sorry. And it will only be going on for three weeks. See you guys in my next video.